Hello everyone, it's time for another uh, story time with Wokey. This time I'm with uh, Jace. Hello. And Captain Soldier 76. Hi. Hello. And as I promised last time, <laughs> uh, the uh, last time we did one of these, I was telling, I was going to tell a story about Taco Bell and then I ended up talking about uh, unnamed college that I used to go to that will remain nameless. Oh, I know the name of that college. I also went there. Their name is... Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> I plan to one day tell the, the, the story, uh, and I can't say the name of it out of fear. Of them coming for <laughs> damages done. Fuck them. It's true. <laughs> Fuck that school. Uh, we actually met at that school, funny enough. I'm not about to side rail this into something. We're here to talk about what the people want, which is Taco Bell stories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let me start by saying this Taco Bell that I currently go to I used to go here when I was in middle school and I want to say when I was in middle school you never have you ever seen the the the, the movie Boogie Nights not yes. me yeah. okay so you know how in the beginning of Boogie Nights is the golden era for porn and like everything's really good and then someone shoots somebody kills someone and then the next is about the downfall uh-huh. I feel like that's where this Taco Bell's currently at, because in middle school, that shit, that place was popping, and then... <laughs> okay, I was like, this could go really sideways <laughs> with using that film as a reference. Yeah, I, I'm not using it. I don't know if there was porn film that did Taco Bell. It would not surprise me, because it's a shitty Taco Bell that would rent its place for that, but... Uh, I digress. Anyway, so when I was there in middle school, it used to be big. It used to be great. Every kid would go there. And then also, because I was in middle school, we'd play Yu-Gi-Oh there. It was a good old fucking fun time. And then at some point, they did remodels. And I don't know if you remember, like, you know how the modern Taco Do you remember how old Taco Bells used to look like? Yeah, they yes. used to have, like, those pastel colors. It was very 80s, the wave looks, the... They are very brown also. Yes. And then during the remodel, they changed to be like smaller and then also more what's modern. Like, yeah, modern. I was going to say more Mexican y looking. <laughs> <laughs> they look nothing like that. They, they look like, 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 like that, that, they don't. They look like Mexican art right now. Yeah, I mean, like they, they incorporated some colors and uh, tried to get that vibe, but also they put that modern feel on it. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a different look. I prefer the old Taco Bell look, but uh, so this new Taco Bell that I've gone to, I've started going for the past year now, and for the most part, it's been a weird. When I came back, I was like, oh, I remember this Taco Bell. Let me see how things are. I went there, and immediately people were doing drugs inside the Taco Bell. <laughs> I believe from the way that person was putting his nose down, they were doing cocaine of some kind. Okay. Yeah. So uh, after that, I was like, maybe I'm going to take a break from Taco Bell. Maybe I've decided I actually don't want to go here <laughs> like I used to. Uh, but eventually I got tired of eating uh, McDonald's all the time. And the, the Taco Bell is closer. So I started going back there. And for the most part, it's been fine. Uh, the thing that's been really annoying is that uh, I've started. There's a, so Taco Bell attracts a lot of either homeless people or crazy people because Taco Bell is very cheap to eat. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, you, you can get a lot of good things on that dollar menu. Yeah, and for someone who's like, you know, strapped for cash, it's a great place to go to and get like your your food worth out of. Especially since the McDonald's near me actually has an anti-homeless people <laughs> sticker up up. Where they're like, if you stay here for longer than 30 minutes, we have the right to kick you the fuck out of here if you want. Taco Bell does not have that sign up. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen a sign like that. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that everywhere because of the line of work that I'm about to leave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, un unless you're like causing a ruckus, they don't give a shit. Yeah, I feel like that's their catch-all for if you're making a ruckus, they can get out. And with there's a lot of, like, homeless people around, and apparently there's also a lot of, like, recovering um, alcoholics. There's, like, a halfway house. And it's not all alcoholics, but, you know, recovering drug people around. So there's a lot of people just around uh, this place who are strapped for cash. Anyway, they go to the Taco Bell a whole bunch. And so I end up meeting most crazy people at Taco Bell. Um... There's really no way around it. There's like, they always... <laughs> they find me. <laughs> they find me. 
Uh, most recently when I went in, which is literally uh, t- an hour or two before we came to record this, like there was a guy, I was eating the brand new steak burrito fry thing that they released, which is just a remake of their old burrito thing, only not as good. That's my eventual, no jalapenos in it, so it's, I don't feel there's enough crunch to it. Um, the guy came in and then he sat like, not like right in front of me, but like, like into a stall right next to me. And I was eating my food and then all of a sudden I hear a loud fucking stomping. And then I hear like, don't you fucking stare at me. And then I started freaking the fuck out because I was like, oh shit, what have I done? <laughs> I haven't done, but no. He ended up walking um, outside the Taco Bell to go fight with someone outside. And then he came back in. <laughs> and I was oh. like, okay. Uh, so this guy doesn't like being stared at, but it's a good thing he's not looking directly in front of me. And then he decided that even though he was behind me, he was going to move to the adjacent seat and be directly facing towards me. What? Yeah, it was fucking weird. And then at that point, I was like, I, I can I can literally can't look to the side or I can't look up because if I look up, I'm going to make eye contact with this fucking crazy man who literally was just like, I can't fucking stand being looked at. Like, I can't. It's He's like a Pokemon trader. Like, the second you look at him, he fucking freaks the fuck out at you. <laughs> 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 but thankfully eventually he fell asleep and when he fell asleep i went to go get a refill and run out the talk fucking talk about before he had a chance to wake up so i deal with a lot of people like that and then also i've started having what i'm gonna call is a tiny major beef with the actual manager at the taco bell um so for the past year like i said it, and for people to specifically to know how i order foods i never change in my order really if i have something i like at a place then that's all i'm really ever going to order and nothing else so for uh taco bell it's always the number five meal and then on the taco uh no lettuce no tomato no sour cream and then on the nachos no beans no tomatoes it's not the mexican pizza is it no it's the nachos bel grande meal so you want to know something that i learned or not learn discovered the other day go ahead taco bell is genius at marketing food that isn't necessarily like mexican and integrating it into their menu like the mexican pizza if you think about it the mexican pizza is basically just a giant nacho it or is. two giant nachos it's literally just two giant nachos it's the now, <laughs> in the same vein the fucking naked chicken uh was it called nachos the naked chicken nachos those mm-hmm. are just fucking chicken nuggets <laughs> just, just, just fucking chicken nuggets yeah uh, how about their most recent thing where it's like what if we put fries carne asada and cheese inside a burrito and sell it where it's, it's like very, it's very like san diego and lo- like california and of them extremely and uh obviously uh taco bell is not what i would consider uh mexican food at all it's more like <laughs> they just have mexican ingredients and say they uh do mexican stuff but and really they're just like they're like a fun arcade place where it's like we're not real we're just pretending here <laughs> we're all good fun right they're very they're really good at coming up with different ways to advertise the same three ingredients by the way yes i want to point that out <laughs> but i'm not going to I'm not gonna lie here. I, I do enjoy me some Taco Bell. I love me some Taco Bell, especially Taco Bell breakfast. Yeah. Well, I okay. actually I'll disagree on you there. I don't like Taco Bell <laughs> breakfast, but I will say I really do like Taco Bell. It's specifically just the people inside the Taco Bell I can't really stand. Can you have you had a breakfast crunch wrap? No, I forget who it was. I feel like it was one of you guys. I remember the first time I saw it. I was like, that looks delicious that looks like everything i want out of breakfast and just one convenient wrap and someone told me it's dog shit and i never got it because of that That, oh that okay don't listen to him it's delicious it's dog shit it's unbelievable you're like like, (laughs) don't don't listen to his lies don't listen to this man coming in with his suit he's a piggy (laughs) bitch Oh, this man and his finger licking sauce. Yeah, this man who shows up to Taco Bell with his finger licking sauce and dips his fucking Taco Bell breakfast in it and eats it. Can you trust this man? I, I do. All yes. right, and that's how you die. <laughs> this is how we learned that Captain Soldier died eating it. 
and he said it was dog shit, and then he had a heart attack and fell in the Taco Bell. Yeah, What's funny enough, like? it's, a, it's a hash brown with eggs and bacon wrapped in a tortilla. Because it's oh, sold wait. in a place that's not used to making any of those products except for the tortilla. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So I guess that's not what I was thinking of. Because the thing I was thinking of involved of involved a waffle. I don't remember. Is that a crunch wrap? <laughs> what fucking amazing Taco Bell creation are you thinking of now? It's like a taco with a waffle? Uh... No, it's, it's like everything he just listed, but it, it comes with a waffle. And I think it's a crunch wrap instead of a burrito, which there isn't even really much of a difference. All those things are coming inside of a tortilla. It's just octagon shaped instead of a tube. Yeah. I don't remember this. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not uh, first in the breakfast menu besides the fact that it's awful. It's not. Anyway, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, let me talk about this manager. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, this manager, this manager, so, this piece of shit. This manager, this lady, she recognizes me now. She knows what I want. But here's the annoying thing. For the past let's say six months since she started recognizing me she started she she thinks that because i ordered no sour cream on the taco it means i want no sour cream and all the beans on the nachos and i have to constantly tell her like the first time i was like no that that's wrong you tried to remember it but it's fine uh you know but no it's like this and then it happened again two days later and she made the same mistake again and then one time I was ordering from someone else. They started the order. They did it right. And then the manager said, oh, let me take over. You're needed in the back. She looks at the order and says, oh, the, the nachos is wrong. You want <laughs> you want beads, right? <laughs> and no, no sour cream. <laughs> and I look her dead in the eye and go, no, I want it the way it was. And she had already fixed it. <laughs> so she had to go back and do it. And so right. that's a wait, because it gets fucking weirder. <laughs> One time I ordered from someone they got it 100 right they go to the back i go and wait i'm getting my drink and then all of a sudden i hear from uh from the kitchen hey and then it's the fucking manager again and i look at her and she goes yeah she's like are you sure these nachos are right like you want sour cream but no beans <laughs> <laughs> and i was like i get uh, the it, it's right i don't want any fucking i don't want any beans on my nachos I don't want I don't want the beads, please. And she goes, okay. Like she like she would have went like, that's weird. He never orders it that way. And I'm like, bitch, I always order it that way. <laughs> and then most recently, I stepped up and like literally, she had the look of an eyes of like this fat motherfucker's back. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I want the number five. I and she's like, I got it. She got the taco right, and she got the taco right, which fucked me up. Because sometimes she'll also fuck up the nacho at the taco and go like, oh, so obviously because you want sour cream on the um, on the nachos, you want it on the taco. And I always go, no, don't don't fuck with my order. It's perfectly <laughs> fine the way it is. Like I didn't stutter. Uh, she looks at me. She gets the taco right, and then she mentions the 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 nachos, and then she goes, uh, and then of course you don't want any beans and you don't want any um, tomatoes on your on your nachos. And it fucked me up because I was like, is that right? Is that not what I want? She's <laughs> gaslighting me into thinking about what I want. And then I go, that's fine. And then she orders it. I get my nachos and I go, where's the fucking sour cream? And then I look in and I see the beans and I go, oh, no. She won. She actually <laughs> she actually got me to get this fucking nacho. And I look back because I was like, I need to check the receipt. And I will go, fuck, it says right here. Be I don't want sour cream and I don't want uh tomatoes and I go, God damn it. I can't go up to them and go, actually you tricked me. <laughs> you gave me this <laughs> So I, I stood there, I looked at her and then I started eating the nachos with beans and I was like, This is awful. <laughs> this tastes terrible <laughs> And tears are rolling down his eyes and she just from the kitchen throws him a giant thumbs up. Because she just thinks, ah, uh, I did it. I finally made this guy happy. <laughs> <laughs> I no joke, one time went after an order and I told her to fix it because she got it wrong. She gave like a, <sighs> and then went to the back to fix the nachos. Like it was a seriously like, because one time she ordered it right and then it came out wrong. And I go, hey, 
<laughs> Don't try and be fucking slick. I said no beans. <laughs> so, I I don't think I've ever hated a person as much as I hate this manager at Taco Bell. <laughs> Because I really don't like it when my order comes out wrong, and I especially don't like it when people try and fucking fix my order for me. So, you know how some people have, like, a hard time just talking to other people on, like, a normal basis? Mm -hmm. But they'll confront people, specifically, like, people who handle their food. Like, it was no problem. Yeah. I'm, like, the opposite. Like, I have no problem confronting regular people about just day-to-day -day stuff but i will not confront anybody who's been handling my food about anything because i'm usually just like oh whatever i'll eat it and i i hear stories from every single one of my friends all the time about how they get their food wrong and i'm sitting there paranoid i'm like dude what if they like spit in your food i'm not okay with that so i never risk it uh... i hear stories especially when it comes to beans and not just from taco bell but from like other mexican places and it's hilarious Man, no, thank you on that one uh, the funny thing is, is that uh, my uh, my nana used to be that way. And one time when we went for my birthday to, I think it was Black Angus, we had been waiting maybe 10 minutes, but it wasn't like long enough for us to go warging. And then I think when the person, the waiter came in, she's like, so we're going to get our food anytime today? And it was like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> she was like, come on, man, it's 10 minutes. Where's the food? I was like, Nana, calm down. It's only been 10 minutes. She's like, no. Did anyone get the steak? Uh, I want to say at least one person got a steak, but... I have to ask because as someone who's, like, been learning to grill steaks recently, 10 minutes is, like, not even enough time. <laughs> I want to say not everyone got steak, though. Not everyone at that uh, place got steak, so... Maybe oh, yeah. she felt like some of this could have easily been done, and then for the rest, they can wait, but... <laughs> It was really it's, funny. It's very, like, the timing of cooking steaks is very, very tight. Like, if you're trying to prepare a bunch of stuff at the same time, you have to give all that other stuff attention. before you, Or at least when I do it, I have to give all the other stuff attention before I work on the steak. Because if I fuck up one thing, the steak will come out just a little bit too cooked or not cooked enough. Because I, I like my steaks, like, medium rare and... When it doesn't come out that way, I get very sad. Oh, <laughs> poor. I don't. I, uh, I fuck yeah. up my steak all the time. <laughs> like I fuck them up real good. <laughs> <laughs> it's steak is very easy to do that for. Uh, so yeah, that's um, uh, that's the that's the Taco Bell story. And also, I can now confirm. I think both of us hate each other, but neither wants to give the other any quarter on the matter. So nobody wants to be like. Because because I'll say to you guys, like, oh my god, I can't believe she's fucking this up left and right. But to her face, I'm like, I'm not going to confront her about this. All I'll say is, like, hey, can you please, you know, get this right? Not, like, in that way, but, like, oh, actually, no, I want it that way. So it's the most passive-aggressive, like, war between two people where one... <laughs> Where both sides think they're right, but either nobody wants to be like, how come you order it this way? But the customer is always right, so technically you're always right. No, the customer's not always right. Fuck that shit. Hey, first of all, fuck you. I am right about my order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might be right about your order. Not every customer is right about their order. Some people are just dicks. It's true. I'm not being a dick about it, though. I think that's very yeah, important to not. say. You're not. I'm, I'm not being a dick to this lady at all. And I feel like that's what's making her be like, I can get this fat boy to eat some beans. <laughs> just give, just give, <laughs> give me a second too, because <laughs> I think I think in her head, like, because in in my family shit, like when you make beans at home, you like toss in a little dollop of fucking sour cream on top. So in her head, she might have this like notion of like people only want sour cream for beans <laughs> i guess so the, um, for, for me ordering a nachos that is only meat cheese and sour cream she's like that's wrong that's like a, a that's front, wrong <laughs> that's an affront me to god <laughs> like i don't know what god you pray to sir but it's uh whatever you're praying to is wrong and i go can i just please eat my can i eat my food <laughs> and it's bad enough i have to deal with crazy people i don't want to deal with <laughs> And I think the thing that's, like, fucking her up the most is the audacity of having, uh... No, you're asking for sour cream 
No, no you don't want you don't want sour cream on your taco. Why no sour cream on the taco? I don't like the cause, okay, uh, okay, fine. Now, now this is gonna reveal how fucking weird I am. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how I eat a taco from specifically from Taco Bell that is fresh. I take okay. the taco. I take the front half of the taco. I take the front half of the taco to scoop up the cheese, and I eat the cheese separate from the meat. So you dissemble your taco. Yes, because then when it's only meat, I eat the meat with the um, with the last remaining bit of the shell taco, but then I also dump the meat into the nachos. So half... Oh, you're fucked up. You're smart. You're like getting like double meat in your nachos. <laughs> yes. So specifically, <laughs> I used to do it with no cheese, but recently I'm like, I think the Taco Bell cheese is good enough. And I want something to go with my <laughs> front half of the taco. But basically, I'm trying to game the system and add more meat into my nachos because sometimes there's not enough. But yeah, that's, yeah. I, I, that's why they I, give you the beans. <laughs> I understand. I totally understand now because I've seen you go through this process maybe like twice in person. And it's left me scratching my head, but I'm, I'm I don't think about it. I'm just like, right, it's fine. That's what he likes. Now I fully fucking understand. Yeah, yeah, that, no, I, I I get that. I mean, that makes sense to me. And, and you know what really sucks is when you have a shit ton of sour cream on a taco, because then you're like, I don't want to eat this much sour cream, and I don't want to dump this shit on my nachos either. Because when you order specifically a taco with no lettuce, and you do order it with sour cream, in their mind they go. This man must love sour cream. Let's drown this shit in just white. <laughs> yeah, they fill up the rest of the taco with just sour cream. And I'm like, no, nobody would like this. <laughs> nobody would like this. So it's specifically because of the way I eat that this is why I get the taco this way. And that's enough to completely throw her off because she's like, well, if he doesn't want... Because the answer isn't that I don't want any sour cream. I do want some on the nachos. But I also don't want to be flooded with fucking white things all over my fucking food. This is a ratio situation. Exactly. I'm trying to game the system and maybe she's fight- figured out what I'm doing. And she's like, I gotta put a stop to this. <laughs> well, because you're not, you're not gaming the system only in the fact that you're paying for a combo that comes with a side taco. Yeah. Whether what you decide to do with that side taco is your own business. Goddamn right. Hey, hey question. So... I, I think it was McDonald's. Not 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 trying to like jump restaurants or anything. Yeah. But this is an observation that I, I I've been trying to make, but I have not cared enough about to actually do it. So, I have heard that McDonald's is one case because when they put their combos together up on the, uh, you know, the menu behind them, on the counter, apparently it costs more than if you just order each uh, item individually, right? And they won because. Their, their defense was like, uh, when you order the combo, it's supposed to be a convenience thing, uh, so it costs more, versus um, they they had each individual item priced correctly, so technically they weren't advertising things wrong, uh, we just believed that things were cheaper from the get-go. So Wait, wait, are you telling me every time I get a combo, I'm paying slightly, like, a couple more dollars or cents I mean, well that's why i said i don't know because I, I don't care enough to pay attention to that i was at, i was wondering if you guys did because so, i definitely don't so yes because specifically my mom has said that if you order mcdonald's breakfast it is cheaper to say give me two hash browns two uh sausage mcmuffins and an orange juice than just say can i have the combo and specifically she says it saved the money and that's I, the i didn't I didn't realize this. Yeah, that's how. That's why I order McDonald's breakfast this way. I don't order uh, each individual meal usually at specifically McDonald's, mainly because I guess I pay that con- a convenience fee because it's just easier for me to get. <laughs> can I have the number five? <laughs> can I have them chicken nuggets, please? I need to start like because like when I get breakfast, I usually get a number two, but mm-hmm. I ask for the drink to be like an iced coffee, and I usually almost never the hash brown maybe i'll take a bite out of it but it, it, most of the time it's untouched i need to stop getting the combo and just get it the sausage egg mcmuffin see i put coffee. i put the i put the uh hash brown inside the sausage egg McMuffin. i don't have egg so i just replace it with hash brown i just put the hash brown on top of the sausage 
and eat it that way. I wish that they incorporated a different breakfast meat, uh, because I'm not a fan of the sausage, and the ham is okay. I don't want it most of the time. I don't like warm ham. Yeah, I don't care for ham in general. McDonald's ham, yeah. but it's all right. Um, I wish what... they just gave you more bacon, because I would get bacon more often if that was the case. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. Uh, in in Japan, they have like a a breakfast chicken sandwich. Dude, in Hawaii, they got the Portuguese sauces. That shit's banging. Bro. Ooh, that's fucking amazing. And also, I'll have to put a stop to this right here because very soon I'll need to be going. <laughs> if you want to hear us more talk about the Portuguese ham sandwich, ham sandwich, join us next time as we have another story time. That's it. That's uh that's uh, as far as my Taco Bell story goes. Uh, I'm going to keep going to this Taco Bell, even though I feel like this Taco Bell hates me. <laughs> uh, thank you for uh, Jace and Captain Soldier for joining me to hear about Taco Bell today. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you all the next time. Goodbye.